Bam Sunis has pulled no punches in his assessment of Declan Rice and Chelsea. Declan Rice and Chelsea have come under attack from Graham Sunis with the ex Sky Sports pundit criticizing Todd Bowley's mindless transfer business and giving a brutal assessment of the new Arsenal midfielder. Rice, who had been linked with Chelsea before deciding to join Arsenal in a £105 million transfer this summer, has drawn his fair share of criticism in recent weeks with some believing that the Gunners overpaid for his services. Roy Keane is in that camp and insisted earlier this month that Rice is certainly not worth over £100 million. Sunis, evidently, agrees with that viewpoint as he brutally singled out the England midfielder in his Daily Mail column when discussing modern-day midfield players. He wrote, These days, we seem to have put midfield players in a compartment where you are a CDM, central defensive midfielder, or an attacking midfielder player or a wide midfield player. But the best midfielders are all of the above. They can do a bit of everything, and that's why they play in the best teams and win trophies. Every midfield player I played with at Liverpool was a goalscorer, a creator and worked their socks off defensively. You didn't play for a top team if you were a passenger. For me, Declan Rice, who I spoke about in depth last week, has only one out of the three qualities needed to be world class in that position. Chelsea were also targeted by Sunis following their big money captures of Moises Caicedo and Romeo Lavia this week. The Blues shelled out a British record £115 million on Caicedo and £58 million on Lavia despite both being relatively inexperienced in the Premier League. Caicedo's move saw Chelsea break the British record for the second time in just six months having splashed over £100 million on the signing of Enzo Fernandez from Benfica back in January. Boley only took over the club last summer but has already spent in the region of £1 billion on transfers. Despite reaching deep into his pockets to pack Chelsea's squad with talent and fresh blood, it is some of his biggest purchases that has left Sunis scratching his head. In the last six months, we've seen Chelsea twice break the British transfer record, first for Enzo Fernandez and now Moises Caicedo. In both cases, they were gambles on potential. Gambles that these young men will reach the heights that the extraordinary fees warrant, Sunis added. I can't help but think that when Todd Bowley arrived at Chelsea, all the club's football knowledge walked out the door. He's paid way over the odds by buying players on the basis that they were being linked with other big clubs. Look at the pattern. It started when he shelled out £60 million for Mark Cucurella because Manchester City wanted him. He continued when he paid out £105 million for Enzo Fernandez because he was linked to Real Madrid and City. And now he's paid a combined £173 million for Caicedo a 21-year-old midfielder with one year's experience of the Premier League at Brighton. And Romeo Lavia, a 19-year-old with a year at Southampton because they were both linked with Liverpool. The same question applies now as on the day when Bowley announced himself as Chelsea's sporting director. Who's he listening to? Caicedo and Lavia could be in line to make their debuts for Chelsea when Mauricio Pochettino's men travel to West Ham on Sunday.